Hi everyone. Uh, this video I'm going to show us how to uh, use audio uh, with uh, MASH in Maya. And what you can do is you can actually animate uh, models or shapes to music. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start with a cube. I'll hold shift and drag just so I can get a perfect cube here. And we're going to come up to um, something called MASH. Now I don't see it, so that means I need to drop down this drop down over here. For modeling, we're going to go to FX. And there it is, MASH. I'll drop it down. I'm going to create a MASH network. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm selected on this cube before I do that. Right there, create MASH. And you might see, depending on your machine, uh, 10 or 2 in my case. And if I come over here to the Mesh Distribute tab, you can see the number of points is 2. And I can drag that up as much as I can. Um, there's other types of Mesh that we'll get into. There's this radial one. So we can go radial. There's also a grid, which you can add cubes or shapes, kind of like a cloner, and you can add more. Uh, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stick to radial, and I'm going to rotate this on the z-x. That way, it's going to be nice and flat. All right, and I'm going to bring up my number of points to about 40. That's good. All right. Uh, the next thing I'll do, I'll make sure I'm selected on these cubes, and I'm going to come up to um, over here, there's a MASH editor, so I like to bring this up. It's kind of just this outlined view of everything that I've done with MASH, and so far I have this MASH1 tag, and I have the MASH distribute. It's the way we were distributing before. Uh, there are two ways to add the audio to MASH. One would be to click on this tab here, and you can see we have all these icons of different things you can do in MASH, which is just great. Uh, and there's audio there. If you click on it, you'll see Add Audio Note. The second way you can do the same thing is with this editor. The editor also has this little plus sign, and you can see all the same icons are here, and it's just a list view. So I'll just go this way. I'm going to go to Audio, and now I've added an audio. Now I was, please be sure you were selected on this when you made that. Okay, so I'm going to click on the audio. Over here is the Audio tab, and it's asking for a file name. We need to add audio. So I'm just going to drag in a WAV file. You need to have a WAV file. Actually, I can't drag that in. I'm going to have to click on the folder. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to get to my WAV file. All right. Now, if I play, you can see it's actually moving to the music, but I'm not hearing the music. So there's one other thing you need to do. To get to hear the music. I'm just going to stop that and rewind. This is where you can drag. I'm going to drag the same file, the WAV file, down into the timeline. Drag and drop it. Okay. And I'll move that back. All right. Now we can see there's sound. And let's take a look when I press play. <laughs> So that was very short. We're going to add some frames. I only have 120, which is what Maya starts with. I'm just going to bring this up to 400, just for now. Now I have a lot more frames, so I type 400 right here and press Enter. That'll push it out. I'm going to just rewind and play again. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. You can see it's moving to it. Um, there's another way you can have things move. We are on spectrum as a mode. We can use average, and let me show you what that does. If I rewind, I've got an average here. I'm going to press play. Okay, uh, some other things we can do is we can change the scale. So if I want them to, it's scaling on the Y axis right now, so I can have it scale a lot more. I'm going to come back to the spectrum. So that could really scale up more if you'd like to or less. I'll keep it at 30. Um, 
but I want to scale it differently. I don't want scaling on that Y and going outward. I want it going up. So I think I'm going to make this zero. Let's check it out. What if I made this 50 on the Z and press play? There we go. I'm also going to add a plane just so it kind of has a floor. I'll even move this plane down. You can't actually move the, uh, the um, mash. That's a whole other tutorial and moving things. So I'm just going to move the plane down. And so there. And now I have this. Let's rewind and play and see what we have. I'm going to click on that mash so I can see things. Uh, and we need to be on the mash audio tab to find out everything in here. Okay. I can look at rotation by dragging up rotation. We could uh, we could try position. This will change where they are. So, uh, there's a lot more that you can do in here if you just dig into some of these sliders. Uh, give it a try, and good luck.